This is the Similar Polygons tutorial. In order to be considered similar polygons, the corresponding angles and side lengths of two polygons must be proportional. Let me show you what I mean by that. Consider these two triangles, the small triangle, which we'll call triangle 1, and the larger triangle, triangle 2. Now we want to create a ratio, or a proportion, comparing these two triangles triangle 1 to triangle 2. So let's compare them side by side and see if they're proportional to each other. Let's begin with the bottom side of both these two triangles. So triangle 1 over triangle 2 we would write it as 3 over 9 and that would reduce to a proportion of 1 over 3. So the bottom leg of this right triangle has a proportion of 1 over 3. Now, if all three sides of both these right triangles have the same proportion, 1 over 3, then these two triangles would be considered similar. Let's take a look at the left leg of both of these right triangles. So we're going to compare the small triangle 1 to the large triangle 2. We'll write that as triangle 1's leg 4 over the leg of triangle 2, 12. Now again, if you reduce 4 over 12, you end up with a proportion of 1 over 3. That's congruent with the first leg that we checked, which was 3 over 9, which reduced back to 1 over 3. So if the hypotenuse of both these two right triangles, if their lengths are in the proportion of 1 to 3, small triangle to big triangle, then these two triangles are similar. So we'll compare 5 and 15, small triangle over large triangle. 5 over 15 reduces to 1 over 3 again. So if you were to come across these two triangles, one having lengths of 3, 4, and 5, let's say inches, and the other having lengths of 9, 12, and 15 inches, you could conclude that these two triangles were actually similar. Let's take a look at another example. In this example, we're going to compare two trapezoids. Let's compare the small trapezoid, trapezoid A, to the larger trapezoid, trapezoid B, and we'll compare them in a ratio of A to B which you can also write as A over B, if you prefer. Now, for them to be similar, they have to have proportional side lengths. So, let's take a look at two side lengths that we do know. The bottom, smaller base of both trapezoids. The small base of trapezoid A has a length of 5, and the small base of trapezoid B has a length of 10. So, in proportion, they're in a 1 to 2 proportion ratio to each other. A to B, 1 to 2. So, knowing that proportion, if I told you that these two trapezoids were similar, you could apply that proportion to every other side of the trapezoid to solve. So, let's compare this leg to this leg. We know that the leg of A is 6 and the leg of trapezoid B is Y. And we also know that they have a 1 to 2 proportion relating A to B. So we can use the cross product property rule to multiply across the equal sign. So 6 times 2 would be 12 and y times 1 would be y. So y must have a value of 12 if these two trapezoids are proportional. Let's do the same with the larger base of both trapezoids, 9 and z here. So, we'll compare the smaller trapezoid A to the larger trapezoid B using the proportion that we know that establishes that these two are similar. Now you can only use this proportion if you were told in the problem that the trapezoids were similar to begin with. You could use it to solve for the missing variables Y and Z. So again, use the cross product property rule to multiply across. So 9 times 2 is 18 and z times 1 is just z. So z has a value of 18. And for the last side, let's just assume that these two are isosceles trapezoids, meaning that the legs are congruent. So that means that the other leg on trapezoid A is going to have a value of 6, and the other leg on trapezoid B is going to have a value of 12.